Yes, today, uh, yes, it's a hot day here in the south. It's supposed to be winter. But anyways, enough of the weather. So today I would like to talk about uh, my, my value system or what gives me value and, and the things that I enjoy doing and how the sometimes uh, uh, when, when your value system is like knocked down and you feel you, you are not, don't have any purpose, how it, it can make you not enjoy the things that you actually enjoy and why this is not a good thing and why one should actually continue doing the things you enjoy. So to start off, uh, everybody has, uh, I, I don't know the exact word is Maslow hierarchy of needs or things that, that matter. So, so we have a base fundamental thing that drives you and, and just, uh, I don't want to talk about everybody, but just for me and how this relates to being autistic and how it was, uh, interact or, not interacting but influencing my life and how it could it makes me negative at times because I'm so black and white so it's like this uh, I, I worked as an engineer for 20 years and I'm 52 now and I was diagnosed seven years ago with autism and exactly 10 years ago now in 2012 uh, while I was working as an engineer my my I, I uh, my neck I have a cervical this disease I found out and I had two hernias in the cervical spine which uh, my, made my arms numb and pain. It was extraordinarily horrible and eventually I got fired from work and after this nobody employed me because um, nobody employs engineer less than 100% so I could find no work and this knocked me down over a period. It took my value away from me. I felt, oh, I have no more value. And, and since then I needed to find something else. The thing is, uh, okay, before I go there, I was never uh, someone that was fully invested in work. Work was just something I did to give me an income so I can support my family. And when, when this fell away, I felt like not a man anymore. And I didn't have a means to support my family, even though I did uh, find different means to you know, take care of them. Uh, I still felt because I could not actually do a job. I felt like over the years now, the last thing it, it really put me in a depression. And and um, being autistic, we see I see everything black and white and and, and extremes. And uh, over the years, I do not have much family and friends and and you know. So actually, I don't don't have any family that I have contact with. Nobody. It's exactly nobody and I do not have many friends made so so my biggest uh, uh, what happened after I lost my job I focused fully on on trying to create some other kind of work do things to to make up you know to feel that I'm still a man or something and uh, over the last 10 years not, nothing seemed to work meaning in, in a sense that that nothing I was doing was making enough or the same kind of money I made before. So this kind of made me feel, you know, not good enough. And so because of this, everything that went wrong in, in the family, and especially because I have no, uh, I have no kind of uh, connections, uh, social connections besides my wife and kids, they were everything to me. And when anything goes wrong with them, like if they get sick, with my wife, for example, and I've issued a visa. It feels to me like the whole world is falling apart. And in the meantime, there was there was always things that I enjoyed. Okay, and and, and even the things that I enjoyed, like jujitsu, I couldn't do this anymore because I felt my whole um, value is gone. And, and and like everything is wrong. I first need to fix up, you know, find a way to support and make that same money again. And uh, and this actually put me more and more down in a down spiral, made me feel more down and depressed. And this is uh, when, for one reason, I started writing a book to make uh, to make up for this. However, a long time back, or let, let's say about ten years ago, no, actually longer, when when uh, when my smallest, my oldest daughter was born, I, I, I noticed I enjoy writing. And I used to write about my kitty's day-to-day -day life. I wrote about when my kitty was born. So I basically had like these few things that I enjoyed. For example, I, I liked writing. I liked and I liked doing jujitsu. And uh, as I said before, those things were not even joyful for me. 
so i think okay i think i'm blabbing but let's just do rephrase so it's like this i, I broke my neck or oh, my neck is damaged from from medically and i cannot work as i used to and i lost my job couldn't find enough so i thought about many ways to supplement this and one, one way was uh because i was did jiu-jitsu for a long time i thought i can start the jiu-jitsu club and and make money from this and eventually uh it didn't make a lot of money and and it made me feel like depressed like a failure again and then i thought okay let's write the book and maybe uh this can sell you know and i can make a lot of money and when the book sales didn't come in like i wanted it it knocked me even down more and so i feel even more and more down but what i forget what i fail to remember is that i actually enjoy jujitsu i actually enjoy doing um writing so the question people like to ask like i have a black belt in jujitsu and, and and i did martial arts before that for many years kickboxing and all that karate stuff and jujitsu uh People ask, how, how did you get a black belt? And there's a saying in the jiu-jitsu world that a black belt is a white belt and never gave up. Um, yes, that's true. However, for me, this is not what made me get the black belt. What gave me the black belt is I enjoyed jiu-jitsu. I enjoyed the ride, the whole, the whole journey, every, every, every new technique, every time I was stepped out, every time I found something new, it was like so exciting. And, and the more, uh, I didn't know the more people would show me the more I, I lost and, and didn't know it was going on. that was was driving me and I enjoyed it it was never a drive to do jiu-jitsu to, to make money so when I started to to change when I lost my job and I thought ah, I can use my jiu-jitsu to, to make money the goal changed for me so I was thinking of of just every time having students more students and all that and that was so frustrating and made me so depressed because nothing was working uh, i stopped it i didn't do it anymore and i felt like a failure so but what gave me the black belt if i think back was i i i wanted to get the, the black not the black belt i wanted to know jiu-jitsu i enjoyed it and that was it it never bought it never came in my mind i need to get grades and grades and different levels and and all that and get improvements or the coach must say I'm great. This was never my drive. My drive was I just wanted to know how to fight and how to do all these fighting things. And it was just interesting the whole journey. So in the same way, writing was the same. And when, when I wrote the book and uh, we discovered that, that I'm not selling enough books uh, and, and it's not making the money back and all that, I, start, I forgot that I enjoy writing. And this is why I couldn't start writing the second book immediately. And uh, so... What, what is important I discovered for me now is that if you, I have to continue the things I enjoy. I mustn't equate value or like my fundamental basic value of, of my value of being a man and making money to the things I enjoy. That are separate things. I should just do those things because I enjoy them. And even like, even if I, like now, or after many years, uh, uh, some people have asked me to teach them jujitsu, and I even do make a little bit of money by teaching. Not a lot, but still a little. But it's great because I'm doing something I enjoy, and I don't need to pay for it anymore. And, and people are appreciating it and telling me, "Wow, that's so awesome!" So this gives me like a little boost. So and and this little boost can add to my intrinsic value system. So in the same way, I should continue writing the book because I enjoy writing and every day when I'm marketing the book and selling one one book here and one book there it, it's a great feeling because it was not meant to be I should enjoy my writing for writing not for making sales so also on, on another interest for me is I, I enjoy the search and doing things I always did enjoy that part but however when, when I felt my value was gone I uh, I forgot that and all I was focused on was the one thing because I'm black and white the one thing that I need to make a lot of money like I made before as an engineer and, and I could not do that and that made me feel crap and and I should uh, you know autistic for me as an autistic guy I should remember it's not all or nothing I have to remind myself of this all the time it's not all or nothing it's just these things I enjoy I enjoy jiu-jitsu I go there to learn even makes a little money i should enjoy writing 
writing the book and one day at a time selling more. So even something now interesting is to, to be able to market it and, and, and make videos. And the more videos I make, the better I get at it, the easier it is to talk. And this is exciting. I shouldn't think, oh, I need to make videos and sell and get hundreds of, of views and thousands of views. No, I just do the videos because I, I enjoy doing it. Like, uh, so I, I have to continuously remind myself now that the things I enjoy, I should continue. I shouldn't think that that is going to give me instant value and, and put other unnecessary, you know, uh, I can't get a word now, wishes, just things that I want to reach. It's, it's not, it's ridiculous. I should just do, go to... Do, write my story and enjoy writing the story and 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 once the book is published just try to get one at a time and if one person reads it one person gives a good uh, review that's great i shouldn't think oh, i need to make millions and all that and sell millions of books or be greatest it's like in jiu-jitsu from the start it was uh, it was i knew nothing i started everybody beat me up after years i slowly because i went and i enjoyed it it, it just slowly I started to get better and I could even not get tapped out anymore and uh, so now when I'm when I'm teaching jiu-jitsu uh, people like sometimes the students ask me like how, how can I get a purple belt how do I get a blue belt what am I must do for this I say well, just just come train you know don't there's nothing special it's just want it and enjoy it and come every time and I should take my own advice like I, I like writing just do that it should i should even know i'll get depressed now and again because i'm not getting all the sales or whatever just forget that enjoy the writing if you sell one great eventually you sell two you sell ten it's like me i got better in jiu-jitsu now i can do a lot of techniques and now people and now i'm quite good at it some people are like wow they call me professor with a black belt so yes that's the message there's no magic uh, happy recipe that if you can change your you like for me in my case i needed to get value to earn a lot again there's, there's nothing like this that happens overnight so i think like i didn't get my black belt overnight i should just continue day by day and enjoy the ride enjoy the writing enjoy making the videos maybe next time i get better and maybe next time there's not such a noisy day and i don't need to stop it every time anyways that's the message for today the stuff that you enjoy just do it just continue do it for that don't confuse issues okay thank you guys